Hello everyone. Sorry the lighting's a little bit weird. Uh, we're here for the big reveal. So earlier I posted about trying to figure out how much I spent. I actually purposely put the tags out. It's backwards, I know. So that you can see the prices of everything that had prices showing. So you could guesstimate how much I spent. Well, thanks to Joann's, who does not sponsor me, but I'm sure there's a wing named in my honor from me going there and buying things, um, sends out their flyer. And I looked at the discounts. I've talked before about buying patterns on sale. Simplicity, which is one I really like. $1.99, no limit. So yes, I did buy 25 patterns. Those were some clothing, some craft patterns. My sister and I were talking rather nostalgically about the old A-line dresses we used to wear. So I found something that was close. I may have to Frankenstein it to be exactly what we remember. I can do that. Also on sale for Labor Day were the beads. Uh, and it was the Hildy and Joe. Sorry. Hildy and Joe. Uh, beads. Those were four for ten dollars or two fifty a piece. These are actually um try to get a good picture. Soapstone. Natural soapstone. And I know they're rather plain, but they're really pretty. They're a little bit heavy. But I like them because they're carved and very pretty. We also had, and I'm gonna show you uh some of the material. This one is not a batik, but I like the uniqueness of it. I think you can see it on the back a little bit better. There's constellations. It looks like a solar scape map. And then um, this purpley one is boutique, boutique, very much like tie-dye. They are, you know, fun, cool colors. Uh, I use the quilting boutique fat quarters for a lot of quilts and sewing. So, and smaller projects where you just don't need a whole yard and a half. So that's why I have those. Um, I'm madly in love with those. Oh, let me give you a better picture of it. These are just hard to tell, really. There we go. That's a better picture of it. Kind of like those. So I think I said to you that I had 30 fat squares and 25 patterns and four strings of beads. The fat squares usually go, and they've gone up in price. I have my handy-dandy, very long receipt. Uh, they are $3.29 usually. They were on sale 5 for $5 per the ad. Then as we come down, the patterns, happily, uh, were $1.99 apiece. So, yeah, figure it out. And and I actually purposely showed you the pattern prices on the back. God, back in the 70s and 80s when I was learning how to sew, patterns were $6, $7. Vogue patterns might be 10 to 12 maybe 15 if it was really highfalutin, fancy, fancy. When the patterns go on sale at Joann's, it's... Uh, Simplicity and Butterick, and they're $1.99. Occasionally, McCall's goes on sale. I think they switch between Butterick and McCall. Uh, and then Vogue will go on sale for $5.99, which is great if you're into the high fashion end of it. Just because you make your own clothes doesn't mean you're making, you know, simple clothing. You could be making very eloquent, elegant clothing, prom dresses, etc., so, what did I save and what did I spend? And I'm going to make sure I don't show you my credit card number, but... Um, oh, and I have to add that on the back, which is now gone, was a 20% off coupon on regular sale and regular and sale items. So I utilized that to include everything because everything I had was a sale item. Read those coupons. If it says regular and sale items, 
it's fair game off your total purchase price. I spent $92.34. Uh, my savings on the squares of material, the fat squares, $70.99. My savings on the patterns was $444. And my savings on the beads was twenty two ninety six. I saved a total of, and here it is, um, five hundred and thirty eight dollars and thirty five cents. It will be backwards. I'm sorry, and it will hopefully focus. Right there. There. That's how much I saved. That is how much you guys can save making sure your family has clothing, patterns for clothing. If you need fancy clothes, if you need simplistic clothing, the A-line dress is a simple dress. That's something my sister and I wanted to recapture from our youth and just be comfortable with. Uh, there's another dress that's a little bit fancier. Give me a fancy dress. So here's your tip. Look at those ads. Use them because you can save like I did. And if I hadn't bought all this stuff, which I needed. Okay, I know every craftaholic says that, but there is purpose to the patterns I bought. I saved $538 and spent 92 34, I don't know if it says percentage, and that was 61 items. So I did rather well with this, and uh, no, it doesn't say percentage. That's quite a bummer. Uh, grocery stores will, will show you a percentage. Uh, tomorrow I will be, or today, you know, tomorrow I will be going out to uh, my two grocery stores to get my shopping done before I start my work week. That's why you haven't seen me. I have a new job. Yay, team. So I will be um, going out grocery shopping tomorrow and show you what I'm purchasing and why. And my meal plans for the week because I work a little bit of a wonky schedule. And I have to plan for that accordingly. And then I can plan for all my craft items later. But uh, tomorrow will be a little bit of a sales item and uh, using coupons. I'm using both my apps for my store apps. And I'll talk about that later in another video and tomorrow. But right now, if you were guessing, and hopefully you'll have guesses in the comments. <clears throat> you'll have guesses in the comments. But uh, yeah, that's what I managed to accomplish today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'm sometimes humorous, I'm sometimes not. I try to have good tips for you. See you in the next one.